Today, folks, I'm going to show you some cool references and Easter eggs from the movie Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse 2. When the Marvel and Sony logos appear, they are logos from comic book cinema, and they all have flaws just like one of the characters who go to different places in the multiverse without that stability device. Oh, and the comic seal with Dr. Torrent is back, which is a style that was present in the comics, certifying that they were products suitable for kids. Did you know about this aesthetic? I think everyone found it quite beautiful. This visual didn't come out of nowhere. It was entirely inspired by Robin Rodriguez's album covers. If you compare the images side by side, you'll understand why they chose the colors of her universe. It's identical, rock and roll. Even in the opening scene, Aquina appears rocking out on the drums with her band. And if you noticed, the band's name was written on the bass drum. Her band's name is Mary James, a clear reference to Spider-Man's other love interest, Deja Vu. When he's in the school counselor's office, you can see a button with the letters BLM on his backpack. That's also from Black Lives Matter. In the first film, he appeared on TV calling Miles a threat. And in the second film, he appears in a room at the Lego Universe newspaper, playing PlayStation. In that scene where Miles is running to get to the parent-teacher meeting with the school counselor, he runs to the dorm room to change clothes. Remember that? Well, at that moment, his roommate is playing a PS5, and everything indicates that he's playing some version. Still in that scene, when Miles asks his roommate for a favor, he responds, I'm not your guy in the chair. That's a clear reference to the woman in Spider-Man, Homecoming. There he used to say he was the guy in the chair for Peter, indicating that he was there to help in any way possible, a hero's hero. It's still not Miles' victory, you know? There are details like a poster on the wall featuring a South Korean player. In real life, that player is a hero, so this placement in the scene was completely intentional, like a tribute. There's even a connection between the Spider-Men from the movies, with hexagons and the joystick. He starts causing trouble around the city, and at that moment, Miles, 